So I'm going to show you the stuff that I have on my front porch. Uh, we'll go out to the farm um, maybe in a week or two when things are bigger. So these are sunflowers and a couple of random things that were just thrown in because they're just the experiment flowers. Um, I've got some that are at the farm also that are actually planted directly into the ground. And I've got this um, poblano pepper. Um, it's actually grown quite a bit since it's been transplanted into this bucket, which I don't really use pots. I like to use cheap stuff. Um, this tomato I got when it was about, I don't know, maybe seven inches tall um, from a big box store. And you can see it's got a fungus on it and it actually had some and I pulled the leaves off but of course I didn't realize that the spores would still splash from water and whatnot um, but it's still growing fruit um, it has not spread to the other tomatoes so I'm just taking a big risk here good thing I do have more growing at the farm um, and here are some romas I started in my bathroom in fact, if you want to see the ones that started in my bathroom, this uh, cherry um, hybrid, I started in my bathroom too, about the same time as those, which is kind of weird because they all started from seed at the same time. This one came outside first, maybe a week before these did, and it caught a lot of rain. These are beans. And they're actually a mix of uh, Blue Lake bush beans and then just a regular kitchen variety hybrid or, or whatever. And um, I'm actually going to thin them out because as they get bigger, then they start getting this weird rot on them. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, most of these are experiments because I usually sow directly into the ground at the farm. These guys um, have just been kind of you know, sitting here not doing much, but they've, they, they've been recently planted, uh, I would say in in the last three weeks, I think, and they were planted from seed also. This guy is holding on, and it's actually um, kind of weird. Um, he's my only beefsteak, and he's the only one that made it out of, I don't know how many, um, he started off from seed also, and he's not doing very well at all. He's way older than these guys. These guys started in my bathroom and were transplanted out here recently. I don't have a greenhouse. I use my bathroom window. Then there's a Dracaena. Um, these Romas also uh, were started in the bathroom. And so are these. These are all the same age, and this one's just kind of taken off. So I'm going to take this one out and maybe that one out. I've grown two in a bucket before and it they turned out right um, these squash I did not know that all my seeds were fertile so I just took a gamble and planted seven um, so I'm gonna have to take them out this one's actually doing the best in this bunch here and this one's doing the best in this group um, these are just microgreens basil uh, both of these are these are peppers and I'm going to pull out in a little bit and separate these are um, beans from a, um, a bag um, that I cooked that didn't really turn out right. You know how you pick your beans? That's kind of what I did. Um, then I have a couple of nasturtium over here and a few little trash cans of onions, which, you know, they're, they're really puny. Um, some black beans I'm going to pull out in a little bit and move um into buckets of their own um microgreens on top a couple of flowers and peppers kind of sticking out of these holes here um i got these each for like a dollar and just kind of zip tied them together um that's two carrots in this bucket back here and nobody needs to tell you cilantro because i love cilantro these are jalapenos that um i got from making buffalo turds and just kind of took the seeds out oh here's a bean that just you know isn't going to do well um this is going to be basil when it comes up just a little bit to pull out 
this squash I only planted two in here because it's going to be transplanted once you know whichever one was fertile grew and of course both of them were fertile I'm really surprised those are baby tomatoes uh, Romans I believe that have started in my bathroom and made it out here um, onions and peppers and the same thing it's unheard of right this this is um, it's actually nine now it's about three weeks old and it's already sprouted and you know some of the grasses are starting to die out a little bit but it's just bird seed from my daughter's budgie uh, I just took some and threw it in a, a dirt um, patch that I put in a cherry tomato uh, container. Here's some uh, cilantro that have not come up yet. Uh, I'm just going to microgreen it as soon as they get a little bit full. I'm going to pull them because I want to eat them. And here are some poor little dying something that my son decided to throw in a bucket. Can you see that? They are dying. 